Greetings and salutations in our dozens. This is Iowa Fortech, and here we go with the D and D creatures and in NPC cards deck. This deck is manufactured by Gale Force Nine. It has 182 cards laminated. Uh, there's actually a bit of a combination of the standard cards and the horizontal longs in this deck. So it's going to be a little bit different. Uh, as you can see in the top of the deck, there is two decks here of the regular standard card format. And then there is this odd size deck. And that's like the start of the irritation with these decks. Congratulations. Uh, first and foremost, these decks are handy dandy for a broad range of uh, situations. This deck is consistent of basically just everyday animals like uh, everyday animals and abnormal everyday animals like in the case of this one the giant weasel you have the handy dandy stats and basic uh, abilities and uh, actions it can perform uh, for the most part that is actually nice uh, it's an effective way of like building a encounter quickly with physical cards you can take one of these set down when you can Put multiple of them around. You can rule the basic stat, uh, basic information out. Like, oh, uh, it has a dexterity of plus three. So it has plus three to initiative. Uh, you have to roll that ahead of time. You get an eight plus three, which is 11. And uh, you go from there. So, and then you just duplicate that out on sheet and everything else. And, uh, yeah. The sad thing is that a lot of these cards don't have any artwork. They have generic placeholder artwork on the front. So like if I were to go in, do this, you'll have some artwork for some of the types of cards. And then it's just boring generic art. So you, this deck is not entirely great with the whole, oh, you can show these cards to your players quickly. You can hold up a card and show it to your player. Or it looks it looks like this guy uh, because you got so many of these cards in this deck with just this generic artwork on there. It's like, okay. Uh, yeah. The information on the cards are still quite useful. There is occasional errors, but the errors are not incredibly major. So, always double check your stuff. But anyways, this is one of those situations where uh, this would be such an awesome idea if it wasn't for the fact that Gale Force 9 and Wizards of the Coast kind of botched a few things with them. And, uh, yeah. Definitely need artwork. They definitely need to double check like, the cards. The, there's there's very few errors, but the errors are just annoying enough uh, that they throw tiny wrenches in things. Common error is, like, the wrong page number. Because they will sometimes put... On the bottom, they'll put on the bottom of the card a page number right there, and that will direct you to the appropriate mo monster manual page for that monster. And sometimes it's the wrong page, and sometimes they will misname an attack slightly or give you a slightly off wording in description or something. Small annoying stuff, but anyways, it's all right. That's also the artwork for the veteran, by the way. They use that artwork for the veteran. So you have a lot of those. And then you get some artwork that is duplicated across multiple cards. You got Auroch, which is actually an extinct uh, European cattle slash... It's, it's cattle. It's basically European wild cattle that's extinct. European Badger. Oh yes, I remember the little fun meme. In the European Badger is like that little guy that would invite you over to tea. The American Badger is going to stab you for crack in the alley. 
blood hawk, boar, brown bear, camel, cat. There's so many of these cards that need artwork. It is actually absolutely sad. And it's not terribly difficult. I could draw a crocodile. I got literally a year's worth of college art credits. It's one of those things, you know, if I really wanted to, I could really draw uh, some critters to replace this stuff. But, you know, you spend money and you expect, hey, I, I should at least have some artwork, like a dire wolf. At least then I could hold up the card and show players this is what you see. Yes, I see a big red circle with a like a pentagon and an eye in it. Ooh. You got eagle. You got the artwork all of a sudden and going on the wrong angle. I'm just like flipping through this. This is like, there's a deduction for, the, there's giant badger. It's specifically the European badger, not American badger. I would expect if they actually include the American badger or the New World Badger, uh, it would have a lot higher CR. Because that sucker will fight bears. Including polar bears. So many of these. See? Look. Giant Eagle. Same Eagle art. Giant Fire Beetle. Oh, two cards stuck together. Giant Hyena. Giant octopus, just a tentacle. Giant owl. Giant poisonous snake. Giant rat. Giant scorpion. Giant seahorse. Giant sark. Giant toad. Giant vulture. Giant wasp. Giant weasel. <sighs> These, this is another one of those situations where this deck is, it, there's, you really want there to be more to it. I'm going to switch to the big cards. I'm going to ignore the middle deck. But honestly, when I opened this pack originally, I was expecting some nice artwork. And like the vast majority of this whole thing is just... Generic, generic, generic. There's like really nothing. Fix that. Now, this would move a lot farther along if I just put stuff down and not try to put it away nicely. But, you know, it's me. I had to put stuff away nicely. Well, anyways, these are the extra large cards. And I should actually pull that deck back out. Or card size reference. So there you go. Now, you would definitely hope and think if they... Uh, we're going to actually use these giant cards. They would actually do some artwork. But the answer is, screw you, no. So, we're back to the same story again. We got a spellcaster without art, a arch druid, you got an arch mage, you have an assassin without art, you have a bard, this is what the back side of the card looks like. One side is the basic information and it overflows into the other side. So say, going back a few cards. Incidentally, it's important to note that uh, the tops and bottoms of these cards kind of change direction. Say like this arch druid, this is the fill out on the stat block, you got experience right here in classification, challenge, uh, challenge level 12, XP, 
And then right here is Volo's Guide, page H20. So, yeah. Volo's Guide to Monsters. So, there you go. So, now I have to straighten that out, mess out. So, there you go. Uh, it's just, yet again, another example of lots of cards, very few artwork. And this repeats through this whole box. Complete lack of artwork. Warlock of the Fiend. Warlock of the Great Old One. Warlord, Giant Spider, Little Dragon. This is supposed to be the general, this is supposed to be the normal creatures and NPCs. And you get at the end a, a Wormland Dragon and a Zombie Beholder. So this is a, indeed a useful deck. If you really want to buy monster cards for Dungeons and Dragons Fifth Edition, this is a this is a working option. But yet again, it's another one of those three star, two point seven five star territories. There is a complete lack of artwork on the cards. There is small errors on the cards. The errors are mostly just inconvenience and annoyance, though. Which then basically is like, yeah, it, 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 it takes you a little bit longer to find the correct page for the monster. To find actual, find the rest of the stuff for it. But, yeah. You kind of have to go through these, these cards once before. Check out what kind of errors are in them. And then, uh... No, like, yeah, uh, I, uh, in the case of this card, I need to go and actually look in the book, look, because they screwed up, up a, a bit of information about it. And that's it. And it, it's a small, they're all small errors. They're just the small annoying things. So, yeah. Flip that around the other way. So... Yeah, this is like a 2.75 to 3.25 star territory. It's useful, it's usable, uh, but it's like not the greatest thing. The advantage with these over the actual monster manual and stuff like that is that you can easily have multiple cards laying across the table at once as opposed to having to flip between the monster manual pages constantly to find your monsters you could pre-build the encounter with these cards you can have your beholder zombie card out you can have your zombie you have skeleton cards out you have a piece of paper with all the crete with the basic number of how many skeletons you have how many zombies and how many beholder zombies you have and you got the cards right there and you could go from that and that's generally the advantage of these cards but that's about it uh the fact that there's so little artwork on across them and the fact that it's basically just as bare bones as possible on the information to the point where they had to shorten a lot of lines and make create little tiny errors uh <clears throat> is a bit of a annoyance but okay so thank you very much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it uh if you enjoy these videos please leave a like on them leave likes on the videos you like leave requests for types of content you like the most or are interested in the most and consider sharing this video putting this in a playlist or subscribing to the channel if you dislike this video please tell me so in the comments below or any of my videos specifically and hit the dislike button i hope you have a delightful day a nice night and a wonderful weekend a magnificent month and see you next time